Aldi have actually banged it. All right, guys, how are we doing? So, I'm outside of Aldi. Hardly ever go Aldi. I went a couple months ago and got some bits and bobs for some videos. So, I'm back here to do it again. I saw a TikTok. I forgot the name. I'll pop his profile and stuff up here. Came up on my For You page, and it was funny because I didn't know what the fuck to do for a video. And I was thinking for a while, like, yeah, I'm going to see how long it takes me to eat 10 chicken selects. Oh, my God. And then I checked TikTok 10 minutes later, and these... Aldi knockoff, do they call it Duke or Jeep? Knockoff like chicken selects come up and they're £2.49. Uh, I hope they're here. Um, I'm not going to drive to another Aldi because, you know, I'm lazy like that. I'm going to try them and see if they're better or quite similar to McDonald's chicken selects. So let's go in. Hopefully I can record some clips and anxiety doesn't take over. Shit. Just didn't have them, did they? I'm gonna try one more store. I want these. I think this Audi, the other one I'm going to is bigger. It's only five minutes away as well, so I'm gonna give it a crack. Fingers crossed. The one it gave me directions for is actually here. For some reason, it gave me a route five minutes away, even though I'm already at the location. So I don't fucking know. It's one, two, two and a bit miles away. So I'm still gonna go there and check. This has to be today's video. Okay, we're here. Successful. Talk about maybe nearly 10 minutes there's some really slow drivers today fair enough be cautious on that but fuck me it's illegal the speed you're going i let three cars go just then like around this little car park bit they took about two minutes i don't know why don't worry i've got no i, I don't i don't have a busy day so I'll, I'll sit here in this hot car and wait for you don't, don't worry about it people haven't got things to do but this store is massive as you can see it's got to be this they've got to be in there please Didn't have it, did they? Fuck. Let's try again. But they fucking had them. Let's go. I couldn't believe my eyes. Nice. Hi right, guys, how we doing? Welcome back. Oh, this is just in the way. Fuck's sake. Hi right, guys, how are we doing? Welcome back. So yes, I know I'm in a shed and it's a shit backdrop. It looks really crap. But you just have to make do. Everyone's in the house and blah, blah, blah. And hopefully I'll do this intro before the, the dryer starts. Now today we're going to be eating these knockoff chicken selects. So they're an Audi, as you guys have seen for the past minute or so. I tried to get them, couldn't get them. Cried about it. I went there yesterday, three or four days later, and they had them. So thank God. So I got one of each. You can get them with sweet chili dip or with barbecue dip. I'm obviously going to chuck in all of these and I'm really excited to try them because apparently from what I've heard, they are very very close and we are just gonna see how close they are to McDonald's so yeah smash the like guys straight away smash it subscribe if you know I'm gonna chuck these in the oven sure about that big man let's get the nutrition out of the way straight away they, they, they make it seem like it's literally McDonald's item it's like it's nuts like the like the text and everything crazy chicken breast strips and breadcrumb coating with a separate serving of sweet chili dip if these taste just like the chicken selects or, or maybe even better then I'm just gonna go and buy these as much as I can £2.49 as well absolutely nuts how much is like five chicken selects in McDonald's these days I'll put it here you're saving a lot of money. Okay, so per crispy strip, we're looking at 111 calories, 5.7 grams of fat, only 0.9 saturates, 7.8 grams of protein. If it was a proper fillet, it'd be a little bit higher protein, right? Let's get these in. Okay, guys, first look, first looks. All right, let's open the barbecue one. I think um, Aldi have done like knockoff Big Macs, knockoff chicken nuggets. I've not tried them. I might do if you guys want me to do it. They have a bit more color than the usual selects, I think, which might mean more flavor. Literally the same size. Oh yeah, and then the dip, of course. Oh, damn, it's frozen, that's annoying. There's the dip. I mean, was in the freezer. So it says to put them in a bowl of warm water for 15 minutes or so. Oh yeah. Why am I sat on the bed? I don't know, I couldn't tell you. Just thought, a little bit different scenery, a little bit of a different angle. Okay, they're done. For some reason, our oven just isn't working. I'm gonna chuck these in the oven. Just isn't turning on, which is just what we need. So I used the grill instead. Now these smell good, look good. I forgot about the two sauces as well, so I've got two, two dips here. Ow, sweating balls. Okay, so here, here they are, right here, guys. I'm gonna give one a crack just by itself. It has literally just come out the, well, it's supposed to be the oven, but it's come out the grill. Oh yeah, in total, we're getting, I think, 64.4 grams of protein, I'm saying, if I eat all of these. Okay, here we go. And chicken's a lot more tender and legit than McDonald's. I'll tell you that for free. I mean, that is a good start considering that is literally my first bite. 
Nice, tasty. Subscribe. Um, so it is different to select. Selects are a bit more tough. You know what, McDonald's, are obviously, these have been, been cooking for like 20, 25 minutes. They don't have time. You can't be waiting for your chicken selects for 20, 25 minutes. So I just cook it quick on a quick setting. So that's why they're quite tough. But mmm, they're so tender. I haven't added any salt or pepper or anything to this. Just show you. I don't know if I like this salad. I'm going to move. Oh, no, I'm not. I can't be asked. Right, let's try some sweet chili. Will the dip be similar to McDonald's? I haven't really had sweet chili too much, but all sweet chili... Oh, that flinged everywhere. All sweet chilies are probably quite similar, right? Will it... Like, if the barbecue's close to barbecue, I'll make you think it's like McDonald's. Big dollop here. I mean, it's nice, like, you know, it's nice enough to a point where it doesn't matter if it tastes like McDonald's, like... How it was advertised, I assume that they try and make it like McDonald's. They've done a really good job with the look. The chicken is a lot better than theirs, that's for sure. Mm. One day I will do a mmm compilation. Tender, but also crispy on the outside. That dip's really nice. I don't really know exactly what McDonald's sweet chili tastes like. The size is a lot bigger. Like, I'd actually choose them over the McDonald's ones any day. To be honest. And for the price, £2.49. Are you mad? Got some nice colour on the fillets. All right, let's try the barbecue dip here. That smells very weird. What's that smell of? I think I'm smelling the plastic there. I, I don't know. Dust almost? What? A weird sign, I guess. But yeah, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. It's kind of like southern fried almost. But that that combination reminds me of McDonald's selects. That smoky barbecue sauce. Okay, here we go. That is a lot more like McDonald's. That barbecue sauce has got quite a spot on there. Oh, look at that. Even that, that barbecue dip's got a bit of a kick. Oh, mate. I don't usually always go for barbecue at McDonald's. The barbecue really makes you like McDonald's, like the, like the combination with the sauce and the, the goujons. Well, I'm getting really sweaty with these reviews, aren't I? And I've called it a review. I don't like call, calling it reviews. I like to call them eating videos, but I pretty much am doing a review, aren't I? Fair play to Aldi, it's just like, it's smart to make it look like, like that. You'd never think twice about that being like an item, frozen item from McDonald's. You'd never think, because the selects look like it, the, the text, the color, everything about it. But I guess that's allowed. And who cares when they're £2.50? I'm getting some more of this barbecue action in. I don't know if I'll be doing this angle again, because I've got all this space and I'm just slapped, st I'm just in the middle. Oh, this one's going to rip together so nicely. Look at that one. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get on my knees. Mmm. Well done. I don't know the first bite I saw. I was like, yeah, it's nice. Every bite, I'm liking it more and more. And this McDonald's, this this barbecue dip, sorry, is really nice. Oh mate, how do you actually banged it? So you get you kind of selects like or just goujons and strip chicken strips from Sainsbury's or Tesco's and it's a bit bang average but they're actually really good and really close to McDonald's they're actually Whoa. better than McDonald's I prefer these over McDonald's and this barbecue dip man mm. these are banging £2.49 as well look at them fibres in there well done Aldi Aldi your punchline should be finger licking good to be honest. Every bite I just enjoyed it more and more. Right, one more bite of the sweet show. I don't really give it enough love because barbecue's better. The dips really make it more like McDonald's. They are very impressive. I, I like them more and more and more. Crispy, tender on the middle. Actually better than McDonald's, so I can put that in the title. The cheeky fucker. Thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Loads of videos coming up. Been really motivated at the moment because of you guys. You guys have been showing a lot of support. So I appreciate that. Thank you for watching that. Bye-bye.